game plan that you have coming into season three? I'm just I'm excited to swim. I haven't swam in a while, so <laughs> it's not game plan. <laughs> 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 Bro's so smart, like, you just made me want to come over there and kiss you. What? Don't you do that. I'm feeling well. <laughs> he said, don't. I'm holding the burning stick. I'm going to slap you with that. <laughs> you kid took my phone. Bro, you look like a Roblox character. Bro's got the Roblox mitt on. <laughs> Alright, contestant number four, Chandler McCoy. But I kind of think my age advantage might give me an upper hand. I don't know. I'm hoping. Okay. I'm, I'm hoping anything that uh, requires some real thought, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be doing that a little better than the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> These lights are pretty bright right on my face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kinda, so. Kind of feel like I'm about to get arrested. <laughs> That's exactly what this is. This is your interrogation. Oh, You're actually uh, the loser of the interviews goes in the shed for the whole game. Uh, I know I didn't lose the interviews. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even lost the interviews to Hudson. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Is there any alliances being formed that you're aware of back at camp? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wouldn't name those. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's the that's the idol. He has the idol. That's the rock I found with the idol. I gave it to him. The rock is the idol. What's that? No way. The rock is the idol. Oh no way! So now we're looking in the woods, but there's just kind of so much out here to check. I'm trying to stay away from everybody else. Because what happens if two people find it at the same time? Who do you think the weakest player in Survivor Season 3 is I'm going to have year? to go with Kellen Bullower. He For two seasons, he hasn't done nothing. Like, the only thing he has done is find the idol and do absolutely nothing else. He's the most trash player of Survivor history. Okay. The only thing he has done is find an idol and then sit there and be like, I put them the pawn. <laughs> yeah, so I've got to say about Kellen. And then Chi-Chi... TC's all talk. Be ready, because Carson Campbell is on the hunt. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> During that action, I hope you uh, have better luck as the game goes Thank you. Carson is still on the hunt. Take your time. We can. We'll, bro, we'll, bro's looking up the story. We'll, on bro, Chad GPT. Chad GPT. We're going to do a campfire story. Bro, bro's trying to hide it. Oh my gosh. This right. is what Chad GPT is doing. It's ruining our creativity. For no, no one can come Let's up with Let's use the brains, okay? Let's just all ad lib. You just start. To, you yeah, just everyone start just starts stuff. with a sentence and we add. Right. There's a group of five went into the woods and they found a scary cabin. Uh oh. I go over here. need to sit. Jonathan looked at Jerry and Jonathan said, we, we, all, we, all knew, <laughs> and said, we all knew Jerry was going to be the first one to die. <laughs> this drew lots of suspects to Jonathan. Everyone got really scared of Jonathan after that. As Tasha walked away in sadness. <laughs> Planned. Somebody had some dark, some dark <laughs> going on. <laughs> um... They left the bunker because he got scared. But, uh, Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan lagged off. What is this bunker yapping about? I'll finish the story. And Jonathan tried to find. What was he? James? Yes. Uh, Try to find James, but he was nowhere to be seen. <laughs> we all think James is gonna die, but he looks in his inventory, has a rift to go, shakes that thing up, takes off. <laughs> <laughs> what? A rift to go. And then Tosh is the only one left there, all alone. What will happen next, Camp? And Tasha's already mangled the shreds, you know. <laughs> Jonathan walks up and asks how he, he can help. He glides in, he glides in. <laughs>
<laughs> Jonathan walks up to Tasha and says, James just riffed and poured it away. <laughs> we have to stick together. And then Tasha turns in to one of the beasts. And then James like, oh, shoot! <laughs> you wearing Crocs. Ooh. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he loves the Crocs. Crocs. On. You can't get eaten with because the Crocs save you. <laughs> Only if they're in sports so then he wins. Yeah. <laughs> Only if they're in sports they, uh, <laughs> they realize the only way to find James is using a flare gun. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> so I have to go find one. They noticed that James, bro, they noticed that James was jumping off a cliff, going like this. He <laughs> fell in the water, smack down, dead. They're thinking to themselves, what happened? Then, best cliffhanger, or best ending of all time, they wake up. It was all a dream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a host for this season. What are your expectations coming into the new season? Are you? What is your retaliation going to look like this year? Fire. Fire. Yes, I brought a lighter. What are you? What, what, are, you, what are you playing with, <laughs> with the lighter? <laughs> okay. So, sounds like don't mess with Kellen. That's that's the lesson from today. Uh oh, middle chair is all that's left. Oh, <laughs> flag for the remainder of the show. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so they're gonna be. There's, there's three. No, this is two. Oh, it won't come off. What are we doing, man? Team Honolulu has won the hype yeah, challenge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> A fruit blend and a strawberry grape body armor. Starting the bidding at one dollar. Talk about a healthy meal. <laughs> what? <laughs> so so you have to, yep. How do you feel? So, uh, All right. <laughs> bidding <laughs> against <laughs> only yourself. Yeah, I want that fruit. <laughs> you could have got it for a dollar. <laughs> 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 Alright, so Okay, you must wear this around your face the rest of the Survivor season. Can you see that? Can't ride that. <laughs> yeah, 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 charge! Oh, he fell, he fell, he fell! Oh! oh. <laughs> Carson's out! Carson, you just said. Oh, yeah! Marco! Oh, yeah! Marco! Cheers, cheers! Marco, follow. Marco, follow. Marco, follow. Hey, Tano! Go! Go! Oh! <laughs> Do you think that if you had been in the weight room more, that you may have actually been able to compete? I believe that I go to the weight room whenever I can. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think that um, I really did go there, you know, and I just did not. Come out on top, you know. Because I guess he's been in the weight room more than I have. <laughs> you have been booted down to the status of a peasant. Mm. Man, I always knew the peasant life was in my future. <laughs> one, go! You drop one. I'm not even gonna attempt to do this. Maybe this I mean, is I'll take a step to do it. Why are you that bad? Uh, one, attack! Oh my god, oh shit! Oh! Oh shit, go, Oh! Oh! And go! Oh! 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 <laughs> you gotta go over. You gotta go over. Over the hurdle, over the hurdle. <laughs> <laughs> you missed one, you missed one. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Come back, come back, 
Hurdle again. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> to the right. <laughs> That was nuts. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, go. <laughs> What's he waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> Here we have our dragon king who, once the strength potion wore off, morphed into a horse. <laughs> and so he, uh, he is now half horse, half human. So this is how centaurs were born, was through Chi Chi. Here we have our only living peasant, Lane.